Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be watching James A. Caster on Would I Lie to You? I once spent the night in a bush in Basingstoke. Um, let's see. It's probably true because um, James is, is an oddball. Let's see how and why he spent the night in a bush because I'm 100% certain it's true. Let's see. In a bush in Basingstoke. <laughs> Right. That's a true. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent true. That has to be true. Why were you spending the night in a bush in Basingstoke? I missed my train. Where do you live? Uh, well, at the time I lived in Ketterman in Northamptonshire, right. Rose of the Shires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you go to a luxury hotel? Well, David, uh, at the time I had no money in my wallet at all, and my phone was dead. I had no way of contacting anyone. That certainly adds up. Why a bush? <laughs> Why not a bench or like, somewhere warmer than, than a bush? Well, it's a bench warmer than a bush. I would say a bush warmer than a bush. It's definitely colder than a bush. It's more exposed. There's an old saying, you're warmer in a bush than on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> so where was the bush? Paint the picture of the local It was right area. in front of the train station, and there was like a little, like, pick-up point for taxis and stuff, and then it went down a little bit to the road, and then right in front of the road, just a load of bushes. So you didn't look for a long time for a I'd ask a stranger spot. for a phone or something the before time it took me to to sleep in the bush was embarrassingly short. Was right? <laughs> <laughs> it? Now that does surprise me. It was a quick decision. You missed your train and you go, right, that's it. And you immediately, like, 14 seconds later, you're snoring. <laughs> well, I actually didn't get to sleep. Surely there must be help at the train station freezing, or something. Actually, ah. even though the bush, it was a nice roomy bush. Can you remember the shape of the leaves? <laughs> It was like small little Basingstoke leaves. Individual leaves. <laughs> yeah. Variegated. But, uh, okay. You, you have to explain what that word means. There's a sort of white bit on the outside, I think. I wasn't paying attention to the leaves. I had bigger problems at the time. I wasn't sitting in the bush going. That's fair. One day. That's fair. I may have to justify this entire experience on what I like. <laughs> I better memorise the leaves and whether they're gentrified or whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> You've settled down in the bush yes. and you're lying there, but it's cold. Oh, I'm sitting there. Sitting in the bush? Sitting there, cross-legged and cold. I had a T-shirt on. How are you going to go to sleep sitting? Where's your coat? I was scared. What so I, I hadn't really. Oh, oh, it was Friday night in Basingstoke. There were hoodlums around. <laughs> and all you had on was a T-shirt. I've never been to Basingstoke. And jeans, of course. Yes. <laughs> I still feel like what? the bench is warmer. <laughs> So, did anybody hear you in the bush and, and come and At one point they did. At one point some hoodlums stopped outside the bush. They said, you know hoodlums. what we haven't done in a while? Where we is Basingstoke? We haven't beaten someone up in a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they speak, David. Well, they speak like that to each other. And I was in the bush, and I, at the time I was wearing a red dress. <laughs> what did you say? What? I was wearing a dress by now. What? Why did you say you were in a T-shirt? Originally I was in a T-shirt and then I had to put a dress on. <laughs> Why did you put okay, a dress on? Now it cold. doesn't sound right. Where did you get a dress? <laughs> I had it in a bag. Why? I was, Why? I was making a short film and I had to buy the wardrobe for the cast. <laughs> You're in the bush. The hoodlums had moved on. They didn't mm. beat you up. I tricked them. I put the bag over I don't over know now. <laughs> you seriously put the bag over here? Yeah, if you are still here, you, please they're saying they subscribe. Want to it would help me a lot. Me My goal is to reach like a thousand subscribers <laughs> in the next six months or so. Head. If you could just hit the subscribe down, button, I would really appreciate it. And a dismembered body in a bush. What? People at home What's this about being dismembered? No, no. Let's go back yeah. to the temperature of this bush now. <laughs> you said oh, for you God went sake. into the dress for warmth, but surely the jeans and the T-shirt were warmer than a dress. There's a lot I of don't think. I think he said he put the dress on over. I don't think he took the jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was, he did. Yeah, no, but he didn't slip oh, out of the jeans and the T-shirt. Fold them up nicely at the side and then get yeah. the dress and put it on and go, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> he wasn't doing that. Oh, right. By the end of the night, he's wearing the jeans, the T-shirt, the dress oh, and the bag. Right. I have to say, it's lucky this didn't happen to Melvin, because if so, he'd have been on a bench wearing a dress and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, then you definitely get bullied by the hoodlums of Basingstoke. Is he telling the truth? Melvin, oh. what do you think? I think, looking at James, I can believe that he could put on a dress with a bag over his jeans and T-shirt, but a man that picks a bush over a bench, I can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> so on that basis, it's a lie. Oh. Faye. I feel like I've being in the bench is a little true. more exposed. Element, really. I'm going to go true. True. Yeah, saying true. Right, James, was it true or was it a lie? It's true. <laughs> of course it is. I mean, of course it is. For God's sake, this man is so strange. <laughs> but it's so funny. Um, uh, so, yeah, that was James A. Caster. Really enjoyed that. I'm going to do more of these if it gets a good... Um, 
sort of feedback which is i.e views so if people watch it i'm going to do more of these um because i find them really interesting i haven't seen mostly haven't seen these um and the popular ones seem to be james a castor bob mortimer and um yeah that's about it yeah but, but that's everything isn't it like if, if bob mortimer is in it or james a castor is in it people are going to watch it um so hopefully you enjoyed that and please subscribe i mean nobody actually watches this last bit so if you are still here please subscribe and i'll do more of these i put out a video at least one video every weekday so if you could subscribe i would really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye